Okay, uh, today I want to uh, walk you through a preview of uh, Ghost BSD 11.1 uh, that I'm using now. I'm logging in right now on the screen, uh, at the uh, login screen. And uh, this is running in a VM. Um, I'm allocating uh, 4 gigs of RAM to it, uh, 50 gig VDI, uh, virtual drive space. Uh, and it's a great operating system. Um, comes up for you here. Um, and um, I'm going to show you uh, some of the inner workings of the uh, Unix like operating system. Ghost BSD 11.1 uh, is based on FreeBSD 11. Uh, and uh, it's a great operating system. You know, I can stay in it pretty much all day long, do everything I need to do, uh, check mail. Uh, you know, bring up web pages, uh, access uh, uh, LibreOffice, and uh, and do things like that. And I'll show you a little more about that here as we get into it. Uh, let me turn off this battery discharge indicator here. I'm not using a battery. And um, all right, so the desktop is forming now. This is the Mate desktop environment. Um, you can have XFCE as well, but I've chose Mate for the desktop environment here. I'm opening up the computer and uh, showing you uh, here the, a look at uh, various things within the, the uh, computer setup itself. Uh, take a look at the file system. It's very similar to uh, the Linux file system. However, there are some uh, differences. Uh, and uh, those differences are obvious when you take a look at it. All right, so let's... Uh, Look at the user directory here. This is the home directory. You've got the, you know your desktop, your documents, your downloads, music, pictures, public videos, etc. Similar, very similar to Linux. Um, I'm getting ready to get into Hello Office here, LibreOffice uh, Writer, and uh, this is version six, by the way. So it comes with version six not version 5, but the latest version is, is 6.x. Great uh, replacement for Microsoft Office as far as I'm concerned. You can do everything in here that you can do in Microsoft Office pretty much. Um, first time you power it up and open it up, it, it does take a few seconds to come up for you. Um, and uh, But anyway, I'll, I'll get in here in a moment and show you. Uh, so it's still loading. And here it comes. So it's LibreOffice 6 Writer. And I've got a dark theme implemented here, so it uh, looks a little bit different than what you probably uh, expected it to look like. But uh, I like the dark theme. Uh, I'm able to see it better. Okay, so that was a quick view of LibreOffice uh, Writer. And uh, I'm going to move, I've got a second icon here. I'm going to just move that to the trash. And reorganize the icons. I've got my rubbish bin there in the second column. All right, let's take a look at GIMP 2.x um, or 2.8, rather, not .x, 2.8. And um, that's the latest version of GIMP, I believe. GIMP is the uh, graphical image manipulation program, if you're not familiar with it. Uh, it comes with Linux as well, but this is running uh, in um, DOS BSD 11.1, which is Unix-like. And so here's what it looks like. Uh, of course, the dark themes implemented there as well. Uh, let's go ahead and click on the file here, and uh, let's try to let's open up a, a file. Hopefully, we can open up an image file and show you what it looks like. And let's look at this desktop one here. So let's go ahead and open it. There it is. Okay, and so it, it brings the image in, and you can uh, work with it, uh, manipulate it, crop it, uh, scale the image, uh, resize, whatever you want to do. Okay, let's uh, close GIMP. And uh, where I want to head to next is get to the Applications folder uh, menu. And here you see under Accessories, you've got a whole host of things. 
Master of Education, you've got LibreOffice Math. Uh, graphics, you've got the Eye of Made Image Viewer, uh, Shotwell. Internet, you've got Firefox Web Browser. I install that. Thunderbird Mail. <clears throat> um, under Office, you've got your full LibreOffice Suite. Uh, sound and video here, if you click on that, uh, you can uh, get into uh, things that are involved with that, which one of those is, uh, of course, uh, GNOME. System Tools, we've got Cups Manager, Octo PKG. Let's take a look at that. Octo PKG, if you're not familiar with it, in uh, Unix-like operating system, it's equivalent to the Synaptic Package Manager uh, in Linux. And so it takes a few seconds to come up. This is a VM running, so it's going to be a little bit slower um, than uh, you notice in uh, you know it's a regular this bare, stall bare metal. All right, so it should be here. We go. It's coming up now, and so it's very similar looking to Synaptic Package Manager. I said first thing it does when you open it is it synchronizes the database because it does have a database that controls the uh, applications that are running in the system. I'm gonna go ahead and I need to authenticate into it here. And uh, once I do that, it should complete the synchronization process and should not finish with any errors. It should say that it's finished without errors. Right, it's coming up now, and uh, it's almost finished. It's progressing here at the progression bar here on the lower right-hand corner. So let's uh, be patient as it finishes its process. If you haven't given Ghost BSD 11.1 uh, a look, uh, you should. It's a great operating system, uh, really is. Uh, very user friendly, and with the Mate uh, desktop environment on top of it. Uh, it's very friendly. It's uh, to anyone uh, a newbie could use it. All right, so the command finished okay, which means that it loaded, it's synchronized its databases and loaded up fine. So I'm going to go ahead and open up uh, here a look at the the window for um, the applications, All right, and I'm going to go ahead and see if I can install a package here. Uh, well, it, I closed it accidentally, so let's go on. Um, places, you've got desktop, computer, network, server, mate tool, uh, under system, you've got preferences, hardware, that displays, keyboard, mouse, etc. Uh, internet network, network proxy, look and feel, you can do appearance changes, tweaking, um, authorizations here, and personal, you can uh, do file management and preferred applications. Under administration, you've got uh, some things there. Control center. Let's get into the control center and take a look at that. Uh, it's basically uh, a way to control various aspects of the system itself in Ghost BSD 11.1. All right, it's coming up now. And here you've got access to things that you had access to on the menu on the pull down. Uh, update station, which updates your system. Uh, your internet and network look and feel, personal section. You notice those were available under system there. Uh, but this is all in one place in the control center. So if you click on the appearance under look and feel, uh, it brings you up to things that you can do in the system itself to affect the appearance, such as your theming, uh, your backgrounds, your fonts, and your interface. So I'm running Blackmate interface, and so it's a dark interface. I like it. And let's see here, under system, now let's go down to uh, shutdown. I'm going to click on the shutdown, show you how to shut down the system here. And you can do a restart or you can do an actual shutdown. So let's click on shutdown to shut it down. If you don't do anything, it'll automatically do it, just like in Linux, after 60 seconds. 
it'll do it for you. All right, so we're we're actually shutting down the GhostBSD 11.1 now, and so it goes through its normal shutdown process. And unlike a lot of operating systems, it shows you what's what's actually happening. So that's been a quick look at uh, GhostBSD uh, 11.1. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I hope you uh, take advantage of uh, GhostBSD. Uh, it is a Unix-like operating system. I think you will like it if you uh, download it and install it and use it. Thanks for watching.